Right. I'm back at this job now to, you probably saw the earlier video of me doing all the inspection and testing on this flat. I'm back now to install a new <coughs> consumer unit and a few other small remedial works. I think there's a dual outlet plate to sink in, a couple of sockets and a few pendants to replace, but the bulk of the work is, is to be done here. We've got a dual tariff board that's gonna go in because we've got on peak and off peak. So I'll just um, isolate, lock off in the switch cupboard and we'll get stuck in. But it is a proper tiny little Harry Potter cupboard. <laughs> just about wide enough to fit in. Take this board off, take this board off. I'll mark up all the conductors, <coughs> pull both the splice out, pull all the cables down this conduit, and I'm gonna mount this dual tower board in the middle-ish. First we'll mark them up. One, two, three, four. And then when it comes to five, I do nine. And six is a line dash, line dash, seven will be line dash dash, rather than having like line 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 line. Then when you get to nine, get a bit gets a bit confusing. Number two and the corresponding neutralities. Always keep a couple of these, the old Imperial stuff. It's dead handy if you ever come across them. Sorry. Four. It's now all stripped out, taking about 10 minutes. And now I'm going to get my new board. <clears throat> Here. And do something like that. <clears throat> I might have to re-drill the holes. I think the trunk that's exposed is not quite deep enough. Can't quite. <clears throat> right. That is awkward, but I think that's the best way forward. I'm going to re-drill these out so they're 20 mil. Drill the bottom out. All the 20s do the 32, and I'll bring all the tails in there, the four sets on peak and off peak. Right. So that's what it's going to look like. And then the board's going to sit on top and I'll put a lock ring and I'll put a female bush on top to protect the cable entry. The conductor's coming in, same with the 32 mil female bush. I don't see people using these this often and, uh, anymore. I use them all the time. I sometimes even use them on armored cables. You know, once I've uh, brought the inner sheath through, I'll put that on just to protect it. It's pennies. Um, so yeah, whenever I'm doing conduit stuff, I always get a female bush. And then I've got this. I've had this since 2019, which is when I believe they, they were brought out. Uh, Brocket is, I think they've since been bought by Armeg or something, but the Brocket is brilliant. Perfect for this, perfect for conduit work. Um, I used to do a lot of it. I don't do so much now. But yeah. It basically sits, I don't know if I've got another lock ring. Well, I'll show you. It basically sits, this is the old one, but it sits inside like that. And then you can have a, you've got a really nice purchase on it. Obviously even better on the older ones because they've got a thicker, focus in there. They've got a thicker um, edge there. On the newer ones, there's hardly anything to them, but that sits in lovely actually. You do that. You put your grips on the other side and you do it in 25 and 32. Really handy tool if you do a lot of conduit work. The brocket. And it fits on a quarter bit, which is handy. So you can have extension bits and whatnot if it's far, hard to reach places. Yeah, lovely tool that.
Right. Did that go on first time? Did it? <laughs> I needed to adjust the uh, holes slightly. The best wheel in the world. I had, what was it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine holes to line up and it just didn't quite sit right. So I had to open the holes up a little bit with my comb bit. Something's three big fingers there for my measurement. Thirty-two blank, thirty-two, twenty, sixteen. Right, fuse box board, Hager screwdriver, I just don't give a f <laughs> So I've got the first half of the, so that's the on peak side in, buzz bars in. These dual boards or dual tariff boards from fuse box only come with a 7.7 buzz bar. You might be get you might be able to get bigger ones, but I I was very dictated to by space on this job. So it's seven seven. So on this one I've split on the off peak I've actually managed to split. Um, there was a double up. There was a circuit with two cables in which did one did a spur and one did something else. So I've split them across it to minimise inconvenience in the event of a fault, rather than boshing them back in the same one. Um, on this one I've got. Um, one spare way unfortunately it's just one spare way um but however because there's a spare way on this side on the off peak side and there's a spare module blank that comes pre-fitted to the board on this side i could if the client needed more than one additional circuit i could take that one out take that one out and bring with me a larger fuse box buzz bar i could bring a um so two more so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could get, they could have three more ways. I've just come prepared with a nine, or well, 10 way probably buzz bar, cut it down, and I could pop it in there. Right, it's all talked up. 
just got to do a couple of labels on the main earth and the bonding. Obviously this is off peak, so I'm gonna test the on peak RCBOs and I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'm gonna unofficially test <laughs> the off peak RCBs, all right? <laughs> Got my fire suppression device. Here we go. <clears throat> Take these on. Let's me know. Put the reference on the electrical certificate. If I ever come back, someone's been in there. So if I ever get a call back to something and this is broken, I just know. It gives me an indication that I just know that someone else has been in in the board. That's all. It's not like for actual, for warranty, etc, etc. It's actually just for me, really. <clears> They're <throat> only a couple of quid on Amazon. I got the idea from Jay, I think it was, on Instagram. Jay the Spark, so thanks for that, mate. Just got to get one more label on there. The um, inspection test date, and then we'll be done. <laughs>